please note that I was sent this item in order to produce an honest and unbiased review. Despite having a bit of an awkward name, the new tab N7S Pro is a tablet I legitimately found myself enjoying. To be perfectly honest, I was expecting to be reviewing just another $50 tablet, but this blew me away the second I turned it on. On the outside, yes, it's nothing special, more on that later, but from the moment it powered on, I totally forgot I was using a tablet that only cost $50. While a good majority of tablets boast having an IPS display panel, many of them still have viewing angles that are shockingly subpar. On the product page, new tab claims that this tablet has 178 degree viewing angles, and I can honestly say I have no complaints with that claim. Many of the inexpensive tablets that I've reviewed, I've had many complaints about, and this addressed every single one of those issues. This has gone above and beyond my expectations at only $50. Inside it has a quad-core ARM Sun 8i CPU clocked at 1.34 GHz, a Mali 400 GPU, something I was not expecting at all on a tablet under $100, and 1 GB of RAM. My Geekbench tests gave it a single-core score of 298 and a multi-core score of 835. You can compare these numbers with whatever device you might have lying around on the Geekbench archives. The aesthetics of this tablet are what would I say is its Achilles heel. The model I received was white, which I personally am not a huge fan of, although this one does have a finish on the tablet that gives it a bit of a gold look. In my opinion, a good decision. The back is made out of plastic, and the tablet is pretty light, which makes it feel a little cheap. However, despite the screen being only 1024 by 600 pixels, I didn't really notice little squares, and this looks great while watching videos. The IPS panel still astounds me. The viewing angles are phenomenal. There's no significant color shift at all. To be perfectly honest, the only complaint I have with this tablet is the slightly obnoxious startup sounds. Inside the box, you'll find the tablet, a wall adapter, a DC charger, a micro USB cable, a screen protector, and some manuals. On the side of the tablet, you'll find the micro SD card slot, the volume rocker, and the headphone jack. The top has a micro USB port, the DC in, a mic, and a power button. On the back, you'll find the camera and the speaker. I've reviewed many tablets, and I can honestly say this one shocked me the most. I was not expecting such an amazing tablet at such a low price. If you're on a budget, there is no need to look any further. This is the best you're going to find.